Knowing how to use the inspect panel can be super useful for us as designers. Not only can it be used for design reviews, but it can also help us to grab some properties, understand how things are built, what colors are used, what typography, what font size, all of that. Obviously, it is a bit easier to use the inspect panel if you have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. If you want, I just made a video about that, so go and check that out. And even if you don't and you've never seen any code in your life, you can still use the inspect panel to grab some really important information. Let's have a look. Right now I have my website in Chrome and in Chrome to get the inspect panel, all you have to do is right click and say inspect. Then you'll get this kind of thing popping out from the right. Um, you also have the three dots over here next to the X where you can change where it lives. It could be at the bottom or on the left or on the right or on the top, wherever you want it to be. I kind of like using it on the right usually. Let's see how it looks in Safari. In Safari, it's a bit different. You will have to go into your Safari settings and then into advanced and make sure that show developer menu is ticked. Once you do that, you click anywhere on the page and say inspect elements and that will open the same kind of inspect panel. They are very similar. I kind of prefer Chrome. There are some things in which Safari is actually better, but I'll go through them while we're talking. Let's go back to Chrome for now. So you have the elements over here and they are just kind of the elements of the page the html essentially you've got console and sources and all of that and i would say don't you don't really need to use these so elements is where you want to be next to it you've got styles and layouts and all of that styles is the one you kind of want to be on because it's the most useful one so i just made my inspect panel a bit smaller and when i did that the style section came to the bottom and the html is at the top and that's kind of my preferred way of using it now i want to show you a really useful button in chrome it looks like this it's this little kind of arrow inside of a square and in safari it looks like a little target now this is a super useful tool when i select it anytime i hover over anything in the page and i'm just hovering over it you get this little box that gives you information about it and also it is highlighted in the code in the panel. So as a first step, this might be all that you need, right? I might need to know what font size are you using here? So hovering over this, I can see that it's an H2. So it's a header two. It's got a class nav title on it. And then it's the color black. And this is the font urbanist 22 pixels done. Okay. Or I can see this image over here. What is the pixel? It's 200 by 150 what color is used here, I can get that hex code. It's also giving me some accessibility to show me if it passes or not. So just this tool is super, super helpful. Just to show you, it does the same thing in Safari. So if I click on this target and I hover over here, you can see H2, nav title, etc. This is where I kind of like uh, Chrome better because it gives you like more information on that pop-up. And that is one that I use a lot. Back to Chrome. So. That's one thing. Also, if I click on this item, I can see it over here in the HTML. Like we said, it is highlighted and the styles of it over here are kind of laid out for me so I can see the different elements of it. Let's say I want to change something in my code. For example, I'm not happy with the gap between kind of the button and the top thing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on one of the elements inside and I see that this is the flower title over here and I see that it's inside of a container called flower details. When I'm hovering over that, do you see that orange line that comes underneath? Now, if you're familiar with the box model, the orange is the margin and we can see that in the inspect panel as well. When I'm selecting this item, you can see that there's a 10 over here showing me that there's a 10 pixel margin on the bottom. Now I want that margin to be a bit bigger, right? So if I click on flower details again, I can see here in the styles that I've got 10. If I want to change this, I can either hover over it and then you see that little arrow that comes up. And if I click and drag to the right and to the left, you'll see that it will make it bigger or smaller. You can also double tap in and just write something, let's say 20 pixels. Okay. And I can also use my arrow keys to go up and down and see that happening. Because I'm using a CSS class-ish and all of my flower cards are inside of this flower details container, you can see that it affects all of them at the same time. So I can see this happening live. And don't worry, you're not affecting anything. You are the only person that can see any changes that you make in the inspect panel. So you're not affecting the website, even if it is a live functioning website. So that is how I can change something in the code. And it's true for Safari as well. One thing where Safari does excel over Chrome, let's say I want to add a top margin between the title and the image, for example. So over here, I can see that I'm inside of the flower title class. When I hover over it, it's showing me everything on the page that's going to be affected. And I want to add something new. So I could just tap inside of this box and let's add that margin top. So I'm going to say margin 
You see it's giving me that kind of extra details. You can do all of this in Chrome as well. And then I wanna say, let's say 10 pixels. Okay, and then I can, you know, go up and down, whatever. So what's good about Safari is that if I make a change, it does highlight it in green. If I add something or make a change, it highlights it so I can see what are the changes that I made. And then it's easier if you make lots of changes, you can then track them pretty easily and say to the developers, you know, please make margin top 19 on the class flower title. And that is what the inspect panel is all about. When we are talking to our developers or whoever has made this website and we wanna make a slight change, instead of saying, uh, can you make the spacing a bit bigger, please? We can just say, hi, please could you add margin top 19 pixels to the CSS class flower title, done. We know it's a class because it has a dot in front of it. We know this, we're good at HTML. I hope that now you can see why using the inspect panel can be really useful for us as designers. It also helps us, you know, develop a bit of a new skill, be more confident in ourselves when doing the design reviews or talking to developers. It helps us speak in the developer's language as well, which can create a better relationship. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos you like to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you at the next one.